Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use LangChain in order to call different models. So no matter if you are using cloud or if you are using OpenAI, Llama Index and so on, because uh, LangChain is a flexible framework, which is helping us to organize our code in a way that is model agnostic. So before going to the tutorial, you should know about the chat template, which is a kind of recipe that it is used to give instructions uh, to our large language model. So it is helping us to, that we organize our prompt in a more neat and more user-friendly way. So as you can see here, it is imported uh, from the LangChain prompts the prompt template and we are specifying what is the prompt. So tell me a joke, so an adjective uh, about the content. And then by formatting the prompt template, by passing the funny and chicken to a specific variables, we are going to create tell me a funny joke about chickens. As you can see, it's a kind of uh, easy and organized way that we can format our prompts. So here we don't care what kind of model we are using, it's just formatting the instruction that we have. Then we have the chat prompt templates, which is similar one to prompt template, but with the difference that it is used for the chat applications. And then we have a list of chat messages. So the chat prompt template, it is imported from LangChain Core, and then here, this is the way that we are formatting the prompt. So we have the system, human, and the AI as the context. So the system is the instructions for the LLM. So you are a helpful AI bot, and your name is this. The human is the user, which is interacting with the bot. And AI is the bot, and this is the response from the bot. So let's say this is a simulated conversation so let's assume that we have the response also from the bot and then it is human turn to say something and this is the user input that we are going to um, pass the variable the parameter so we are calling the format message in order to pass the parameters to a specific variables that we have so as you can see this is a kind of easy way to set up everything really easy let me go back to the collab. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use Cloud3 and the OpenAI model. Be sure to have your API key stored in some environmental file, or if you prefer to save it in your code, um, do it. But if it should be just for the experiment purpose, uh, never show your API code in your uh, product applications. So I have to install first Anthropic and OpenAI uh, related LangChain libraries. And as this is getting installed, I have to show you also the library of the .env, which is going to be used in order to import the environmental file. So let's wait that this part is finished. So let's go to the this part, which I'm going to install the .env library and here i'm going to test if i can load the environmental variable file everything is okay so the response is true which means that uh, it was possible to find the environmental file so here i have to import the chat prompt template as we have seen in the documentation of the line chain which order which is used to called the LLMs. So the first one is calling Cloud3. So I'm calling uh, the chat Anthropic by specifying the temperature and the model name. So in this uh, example, I'm just calling the Cloud3 Opus. You can call any kind of model that you want. And then I have two uh, contexts here. First, this is the system. Uh, 
that you're a helpful assistant that helps Alte to find his perfect meal. And then the text is the input from the user. So I'm formatting my chat prompt template by passing these variables to the system and to the human. In order to bind the prompt and the chat together, we have to use chain. And this is the way that you can, um, let's say, uh, add, um, add these kind of variables together. And uh, the message from the user is that I am a 30 years old girl with 50 kg weight and 165 centimeter height. What is the recommended meal? And we are invoking the chain by passing this message as the text from the user. So let's see the output from the cloud three model. And as you have seen, this is a, a kind of easy way to set up everything. So we have first the prompt part and then we are simulating the conversation with the bot. And here we have the output from the cloud model. So it recommended me a meal plan with different nutrition foods, nutrition dense foods. And then it gives me an example of a balanced meal, which is nice. I mean, it's short, it can be, let's say, precise, and it is what uh, I need. So let's go to the OpenAI model. And what we are doing here is that we are just importing the chat OpenAI, and I have just to call the chat OpenAI, specifying the model name. And again, since the chat variable is now set to the chat open AI object, I have to uh, append again the chat and prompt together to create a new chain and then invoking again the message. So as you have seen, I just changed the chat object and I'm just invoking again the chain in order to have the output. And I did really minimum effort in order to call another large language model. So let's wait for the OpenAI output uh, to see how it is different from the cloud model. And let me go down so you can see it also easier. And uh, well, as you can see, the output from the OpenAI model is more detailed for sure. It gives me instructions about the breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, and so on. And also general tips, which I think is a interesting way of responding to that kind of prompt. Well, I leave the choice of the model to you. Just I wanted to show you how you can easy call different type of model by uh, using LangChain. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon.